Hi, this is Apple Looming, and today I'm going to show you how to make a hero charm from Big Hero 6. Um, as you can see, today this is my very first tutorial, and we're going to be using um, navy blue, black, red, and just skin colors. So there's that. Um, this is my very first tutorial on YouTube. Um, as you can see, he's got legs and feet, so it's like a mini person. I will be changing the design a little bit and make his um, two points up on his mask a little shorter, and that's like the only thing I'm gonna do. But yeah, um, and I please advise you to like and subscribe to my channel, um, and also to follow Apple Looming, which is my Instagram account. As you can see, we've only got like two and seventy four, and also follow Jess Lumet, which I am a co-owner of that also. So there's that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start on his head right here, which is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the loom should be set up like this. So I'm going to set it. So you're gonna take your first two. You're gonna take a blue and a red, and you're gonna place it right here. So then it looks like that. You're gonna take another blue and red. Like that. Then you're gonna go down here on this side. So it looks like that. I'm going to go down here, and then you're going to repeat that again. Like that. So now I'm going to take a skin color band, um, two skin color. And I'm going to place them right here. Here. And here. So now it looks like this. And you're going to bring these two together now. So I'm going to place it here. And here. So now we have his face kind of outlined done, but don't worry, we will be doing eyes, but not so later. Um, and I'm going to take his neck color, which is a black for the shirt that he wears under his suit. So we take a black, two black, and place them there. And then we can start doing the body of it. Um, as you can see, I'm going to be doing a blue, the blue, sorry if my nails look terrible, um, and a red and some black towards the end. So, I'm going to go this way first. It doesn't matter which way you go first as long as you go to the sides first. And you're going to go down, I believe two times blue. So I'm going to go oops, on each side. So one, two, and here. One, two. So now we have it like this. Um, Next, we're going to grab a blue to start out with, and I'm going to go oops, blue, red, blue. 
blue. And then now we're going to do our black. So we're going to go down one black. And one black. And if you are wondering, the supplies we will be needing today are just a hook, some rubber bands, and a loom. We will not be using any Z clips for this. And some beads if you have any for his eyes. And if you don't, I will show you what you can do. So I have a black right there, a black right here. Sorry if I'm a little quiet. I. <laughs> can't speak up very loud. So, and the black right here. So that's his body layout right here. And now we can start adding on the extensions, including his arms, legs, and antenna things. I really don't know what they're called. And his eyes. So I will be right back in a few seconds. Alright, sorry if my um, arm were kind of in the way of the first shot that I did, but we're now going to start his eyes. So, um, for this, I'm using beads for my first example. And this is how I always learn. You take a bead, slide it through, and we do not need dental floss. And you do that twice. Um, but if you don't have beads, you're gonna do, you're gonna take black, twist it three times, so, two, three, and you're gonna take, oops, just one, and slide it on, like that, but I'm gonna be using just these, uh, so I'm going to take this, just place it on, here and here. So now we have that. I'm going to take my hook. You don't have to use your hook, but, and I'm going to bring it over. And up like that. So now we have his eyes done. And we can start his um, things that pop out of his helmet. I'm not really sure what they're called. But um, so we're going to take a blue. We're going to twist it like we did on the example of an eye. So two, three. I'm going to take blue, two blue. I'm going to slide it on there and bring it back up. And you're going to do that twice. So I'm going to use my second time. Take it. Slide it up. So after you finish that, you're going to take your loom and you're going to place it Either here or here. Doesn't matter which way. So okay. So now I have his like antenna. And you're going to stick it up like this. And you're going to need that two times. And I already done nine two times. So I'm going to... I'm going to place mine. Sorry, I just kind of got like messed up. Really awkward. Um, place mine. Place it right here. So now I have two, um, and we have his head done. 
and I'm going to be right back and I'm going to show you how to make his body right here. So, Alright, so as you can see I kind of moved my rubber bands out of the way so that it just looks better. Um, I'm going to be starting my, um, <laughs> sorry there's kind of a funny noise in the background, um, the body right here. So we're going to do two arms and two legs. So for the arms, we have three times now. So instead of two, like the head, we're doing three with a, yeah. So I'm going to take a black this time. I put two, three. I'm going to take blue, two blue. And I'm um, going to place it on like this. So just put it on. And you're going to do that with two more of black. Here. and two more black here and here I'm gonna make one more of these I'm gonna take mine off I've actually done not done two this time so I have to redo that again so I'm gonna go one two three and I'm gonna grab two blue, hold it over like that, take black, and place it over like that. So now we can place his arms on the um, loom. So I'm going to take black. I'm going to place it Right here. I'm going to do that again on the other side. I'm going to do that again on the other side. So I'm going to be right back in a few um, seconds. Alright, so I've already attached my other arm. I'm going to start doing the legs, which I've already attached one. So we're going to do three like we did on the other one. We're going to go two black and go ahead and Slide the rubber band off, and like that. And you're gonna take skin color, like this, bring them over, and you need a blue. So here. Go ahead and take that off or place it across from this one right here. I've already made my first one. I'm not sure on camera. But um if you're wondering why I'm already placing my second one, it's just for time. Um so now I have my blue and his little feet, and we're going to be doing a cap band. Yeah, we're almost done putting on the rubber bands. I'm going to take it, take it, twist it into a figure eight, and bring it back 
on your finger and just place it. Right here. So it should look like that. Um, and we're gonna place our triangles, they're gonna hold these together. Oops, sorry, just let me fix this. Um so we're gonna take black, place it here. Take a blue, and these are in triangles. Take a blue, place it here. Mm. Place it right there. Sorry if that was a little loud. My parents keep talking, and now we can start zooming. Hooray! So I'll be right back. Alright, so now we can start looming the whole body. Um, and so this first one goes here, here, here. So I'm gonna go go down. Grab the first two and bring it over. So we've got it like this. I'll grab my next two to the right and bring them over and then the middle and bring it over. So I've got it like this so far. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the middle row. And if you know from here, from Big Hero 6, it's one of my most favorite movies from Disney. Um, then you know that he has three red right here, but I decided not to do that. Um, so I've loomed that, and we're gonna loom the rest of this row. So on this one, it's kinda hard to pick up but I'll at least try. Oops. Sorry, I'm not very good at this right now. I think that these are always the hardest right here, but um, I'm going to be right back, um, and you should get these two rows finished all the way up to these two right here. I'm going to be right back. Okay, so I have finished this part right here. We're going to bring our left one first over and our right. So you're going to have to go under these again. Over, push them down, bring them over, and this is an original design. Sorry if this video takes a long time. I'm kind of slow, but you can fast forward if you're a little bit faster than me. So now I have those. I'm gonna bring, go down, and grab his neck. And it should be a little tight. So now I that. We're starting to lean his face. So you're going to go right for left first. I always go left first because, you know, if you've noticed, I am right handed. <laughs> so I'm going to go here. And middle
and our final one. Sorry if I don't really talk that much. You're almost done with this. Okay, so this is the hard part right here. We're gonna have to grab these two bottoms. Like that. You're gonna grab your second one. All the way down. And grab these two. Alright. So we have finished looming. As you can see. We're gonna take one more rubber band. I'm gonna take a blue stick here. Hook through the bottom of this top one. I'm gonna pull the rubber band through and make a slip knot. I'm just gonna bring it over and then pull. Oops. Let's hope this doesn't fall apart. <laughs> um, so now you can make sure that you have loomed everything together so it doesn't fall apart at the end. Um, I'll pull that tightly. And we can start taking this off. Now, the cat band that I did was a little different. Um, I did two instead of three. So, if you're wondering, that's why. Um, but you could, this is Heroes, I uh, like, you know, superhero kind of outfit, I guess I could say. Stick it out right there. Um, pull these out. Now this is a mini person. Like, they are super cute and they're my favorite kind of charms. His head's got to stick it upside down. But another way that you could have done this is you could have put skin tone bands on the sides of his face and replace the other stuff. And one more to take off. Who's the final? Alright. So now... It's still about the same size on his ears. But he kind of almost looks like a pig. <laughs> on this example. Um... So that is Hero from the Hero 6. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, and make sure to follow Apple Looming and Just Limit. And this is my very first tutorial. So I really hope that you all liked it. Um, and I will soon be hoping making Baymax from Big Hero 6, which is a big thing that I'll be trying to doing. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, follow me on Instagram. And bye.